Okay, so these are seriously, seriously hot. I have actually made more of these out there starting to burn through my sleeve now. Um, oh, sorry, I felt like I was going to sneeze. Um, and look, ow, 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 ow. it's a little ghost and he's about to jump out of a pumpkin. How cute is that? I just caught my nail on it earlier, so I've like dented it. But it just adds to the effect because it's a pumpkin. I made a owl and some other things which I'll probably do in another video. But look, how cute are these? They're really tiny. And they, I'll tell you what, some of these took like 20 minutes just to make one because they're so fiddly. This one's not as hot, but it's a little gravestone. So they were quite cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet, but I'll probably put them on like a craft or something. So yeah. Oh. Speaking about notes, we have. Oh, actually, shall I? I don't know. Yeah, I'll do this next. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It says trick or treat inside. Oh, that's exciting. I didn't actually realise that in the shop, but look, he's so cute. Although, whoever painted the eyes did not do a very good job. So I'm going to go over that in uh, black sharpie just to make it a bit neater. But for a pound, it's a cool tea light holder. Like something from Yankee Candle would cost you in the excess of about three to five pounds. Probably even more. Depends on the size that you want. So actually, they did have some gen. I think they were genuine Yankee Candle like things in there. It's. I don't know if they have them anymore. I've not seen them. But a while ago, they had like some genuine Yankee Candle actual like melty things on the top. So yes, I can't remember the name. Melty things is like as far as my vocabulary goes. So you know. University does this to you. Um, here we go. So this is a cool Halloween banner. Hello, and this was from the pound shop again. I saw these online, and I was sort of going for a more classy look than sort of uh, Halloween. I don't really do scary because I, it's not really fair on like the people that come round if they don't like scary stuff and my nan doesn't like like really spooky things so I did some more some more I don't know what the word but like fancy stuff and obviously like cutesier stuff that's more appropriate because I don't exactly like to go too gory with Halloween. It's it's all right to go a bit scary, but like there's sort of a line for me, and it's sort of nothing without smiley faces on. So you yeah, know, yes, and the screen masks don't count. I do not like those. They proper freak me out. And like when they come to the door, I'm like, hello. Yeah, I'm always afraid they're going to like jump out. Oh, by the way, I added the ribbon because it looked cute. This is like the most amazing smelling candle ever. It's the Mainstays candle. Apparently these are Walmart candles because I did look them up online to check out the price. And oh my gosh, when you lift the lid off, even with the lid on in the carry bag, I can smell it from like on my bed, which was like on the other side of the room. Oh, oh, you can't smell it, what am I doing? Oh, it's so nice. It's like really strong. It's like probably as strong as one of the Yankee Candle ones. It's made in the USA as well. So it's going to be a good candle. I cannot wait to light that. And it's three weeks too. So that was good. And yeah, 2 49 from Home Bargains. And they had the really big... Like the really giant, expensive Yankee Candle jars. I think they're normally about like twenty pounds ish. I don't know ish, and they were only eight pounds. So they have loads of Yankee candles in home bargains. So you better go down there fast if you want some because they were literally nearly out when I was there, and some at Savers as well. So yeah. Also, Yankee Candle actually had a sale on the website the other day. I'm not sure if it's still on. You could check. But yes. 
And the very last thing, again, I'm not sure how many you get in here, but back in the day, back in the day, you used to get, I think it was 10 in here, and then you got 9, and then I'm not actually sure how many are in here. I'm guessing there's about 9 in there. But, yes, these... I don't actually particularly like them. I like the orange ones, but my brother absolutely loves the purple ones. So, yeah. Uh, apparently they taste like nerds, but I don't I don't want to try it. It's like a grape flavour. So, I think that one's kiwi, the apple one. Some, I did see a video of a review on these. Um, if I find the video, I'll link it below, but I doubt I'll find it. It's been two or three years since I've seen that video. So... Yeah, I just wanted to like see what they tasted like, so I went and typed in a view view on these, and yeah, so I'm posting one. So they've got one, two. Oh, I'm just gonna open it. Yeah. I can never open these things. There we go. I got te like canines, like really sharp teeth here. And they're like a knife, they just go through anything. Kind of a bad thing though, because whenever I bite my tongue, I always manage to get, yeah, too much detail. So there are one, oh, yellow one, unless it's supposed to be orange, but they're upside down for some reason in the packet. One, two, three, or oh, a green one this time. Oh yeah, that's, that's two yellow ones, three yellow ones. That's, well, hang on, there's four yellow ones. I am very <coughs> intrigued by this. I couldn't think of the word again. It's been one of those days. So there's a green one, one, a purple one, yellow one, another yellow one. So there's only one purple one. My brother's going to be it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine pumpkin pops, that is not bad, so that's just over 10 pence each, which these are actually really nice, and they have a glow stick in the end which you can snap, but I sort of think that's sort of a danger waiting to happen, maybe, I don't know whether I'm just being a bit critical, but the stuff in the glow sticks is actually quite toxic, so if you do manage to... I don't know whether it was just me at discos when I was a kid, but I used to flex that thing like there was no tomorrow. And the stick used to always end up leaking, so as long as you don't bite into the stick, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. So, yes, otherwise they wouldn't make them, maybe? I don't know. But it does actually stop, like the glowiness stops at like halfway up the stick. So, not in a verse, not bad. So they will be given out to like people. Like, if I have, like, a favourite costume or whatever, I'll just give them one of these and then something else. And my idea, what is your Halloween costume this year, by the way? If you have an idea, link it below. I am actually going to take my hoverboard out and I'm going to dress as a ghost and then I'm going to go, like, not like a jellyfish, don't worry. I'm going to sort of spookily move around the street and then like have a bowl of sweets and then just hand them out to people either that or I'll do that because yeah and then I'll leave a little bowl outside saying take two or whatever um but there's a lady down the street from me every year who does a Macmillan cancer coffee morning so we all sort of go there and sort of donate money to cancer which is a really good idea and I tell you what, it gets really busy in my street. So the amount of people, we must have had about 200 people knock on the door last year. We nearly ran out, like literally had three sweets left at the end of the night. It nearly resulted to me having to hand out the stuff that I got. So yeah, Halloween for you. If you do run out, what is actually the weirdest thing you've ever had to hand out? Well, thankfully we had some of like those penguin biscuits that you have for your sandwiches so we just used to give those out if we ever ran out but has anyone ever given like cereals or anything weird comment below and that is the question wow 
there we go that was the question for this video thank you for watching and i will see you later and i will be doing some more halloween videos and my christmas video should start in about november time i did mention this to some of the viewers and yes thank you for watching and i'll see you later